You watch those nature documentaries on the cable? Yeah. You see the one about lions? Yeah. Look at this lion. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane out there. He's laying down under a tree in the middle of Africa. He's so big. He's so hot. He doesn't want to move. Now, the little lion cubs, they start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. The lioness, she starts messing with him, coming over, making trouble. Still, nothing. Now, the other animals, they notice this, and they start to move in. The jackals, hyenas, the barking at him, laughing at him. They nip his toes and eat the food that's in his domain. They do this, and they get closer and closer and bolder and bolder, till one day, that lion gets up and tears the shit out of everybody, runs like the wind, eats everything in his path. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. It's too late to be scared. It's time to kill. I'm going to the other room. You come out when you're ready. Don't beat him. Kick his ass. I think a lot of people don't understand what it means to actually be a lion. Being a lion means that you don't have to bow down to anyone else. Being a lion means that you don't have to make excuses for what you do or yourself because you are always on top. Being a lion means that you don't have to argue with lessers. It means that you don't have to argue with the sheep. It means that you don't have to argue with the giraffe. It means that you don't have to argue with any of the other animals in that jungle because all of them to you are nothing more than food. Now, every now and then, people decide that they want to attack you. They may attack your lifestyle decisions. They may tell you, oh, you know, you shouldn't vote for certain people. You shouldn't support certain causes. You shouldn't talk to certain people. You shouldn't work with certain people. You shouldn't be friends with certain people. You shouldn't buy a certain color car. You shouldn't buy a certain type of car. You shouldn't uh, wear certain types of clothes. Making Wearing a suit doesn't make you wealthier. It doesn't make people think you're wealthy. You should just dress like a bum or you should dress like Pookie and Ray Ray. People can come up with all types of attacks. When you're on the internet specifically or when you're in public life, you are going to be attacked. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter your gender. It doesn't matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter how short you are. It doesn't matter how pretty you are. It doesn't matter how ugly you are. It doesn't matter how fat you are. It doesn't matter how skinny you are. Somebody's going to attack you. But being a lion means that you can acknowledge their grievances right before you eat them. You see, lions don't argue with the sheep. I'm sure when the sheep are screaming, bah, bah, bah. And the lion is sinking his teeth into that sheep's abdomen. I'm fairly certain the lion probably, if he could communicate with the sheep, I'm fairly certain the lion tells the sheep, you know what? Listen, I'm really sorry it has to be this way, but this is the way it has to be because I'm a lion and you're a sheep. So I'm going to eat your fucking ass and there's nothing you can pretty much do about it because you're an herbivore. You can't fight back. And I'm a fucking lion. And that's just it. I'm sorry. At a certain point, arguing is a waste of time. At a certain point, even it doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you're going to get people arguing with your points of view. If you express your points of view, no matter what it is, 
There's always going to be somebody to argue with you. There's always going to be somebody to tell you that you're wrong. There's always going to be somebody to tell you that your opinion is weak and it doesn't matter and this, that, and other. But when you're a fucking lion, the only thing you're worried about is tearing through their flesh and getting at those tasty innards. All you're worried about as a lion is ripping open that skin and getting to that soft, fleshy underbelly. And they'll still be complaining because they don't like the fact that you're a lion. They don't like the fact that you're tearing them apart. They don't like the fact that you're bigger than they are. They don't like the fact that your paws are sharp, razor sharp paws and claws. They don't like the fact that your teeth are canine teeth and they're razor sharp. Meanwhile, they're herbivores and all they can do is eat the plants. They don't like the fact that you can ignore them. You, you can ignore their screams for mercy. You can ignore their screams of pain. You're a lion. Your only job is to tear through them and devour them as if they were breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's what it means to be a lion. A lot of people won't agree, but that's okay. Because their lunch, their breakfast, their dinner, a lot of people won't like you, but that's okay. Because their breakfast, their lunch, and their dinner. A lot of people won't, uh, they absolutely will not support you, but that's okay. A lot of people absolutely will attack your habits, but that's okay. The lion doesn't run. The lion doesn't hide. In fact, from what I know, the male lion does the least chasing of all. He doesn't even bother chasing his prey. What he does is he usually has the female lion go out and hunt, and then he comes and he eats his share, and the females, they split up the rest with the cubs and this, that, and other. But the bottom line is the lion, that's his, that's his duty, that's his job, that's his being. You don't have to bow down to anybody when you're the lion. When you're the lion... Those who don't bow down to you get eaten. Some of those who do bow down to you get eaten, but most of those who don't bow down, they're too busy running. Because when it comes time for your lunch, your breakfast, and your dinner, you're busy eating. And when you have to get up and you have to flex that lion muscle and you run like the wind and you tear through them like a hurricane that they never saw coming, it's too fucking late for them. Don't argue with sheep, don't argue with mice, don't argue with rodent filth. The lion doesn't argue. The lion ignores your screams of pain. The lion ignores your complaints. The lion has no pity, no mercy, no restraint. That's what it means to be a lion. You spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. You know, that's what you want people to think of you. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of the sheep.